In this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at some of my old games and some I just didn't even decide to upload. Let's go. So if we click onto my stuff and I scroll all the way down, you can see all of my projects. But we're gonna start off with Doors 2D. So let's click on it. And if you've ever heard of Doors, like Roblox Doors, it's basically just a horror game, except I made it 2D. So let's full screen it and go. So as you can see, I spawn in a kind of like a hotel lobby like they do in the game. And if I can move forward, we got sound effects and everything, thunder. I really tried to polish it. If I can go up here, we can see that we have an E to pick up a drawer and if i click it you can see that we get well you have a chance to get some gold at the top and i can just continuously hit it make it close and open I can go down here collect that one go down there collect that one you also have pretty like weird sound effects that play every so often click that and we can go in here and this is what's going to teleport us to basically the next room i kind of imagine like you're in a hotel i can click that and we can see here we have a wardrobe and if i click it i go inside and if i can just move around to get out it's pretty neat actually and there is collision and yeah so if i go to the next one I can click all of these and you can see that i put kind of a lot of time and effort into making these guys look nice uh, they may not look that good but i tried my best I got the wardrobe here still we got a toilet and we have a knocking sound effect just to try and scare you so let's go in the next elevator and you can see at the top right that it says three and that's what room you're on or i guess level of the hotel oh and we're in the same room so i'm trying to progress a little bit faster and i'm gonna try and make you find one of the enemies because after level five you have like a i don't know like one in 12 chance of finding a guy named the smiler let's go just continue I'll be back when I'm finished. Oh, there we go. We can kind of see him here now. You can see that everything goes really dark. We have like a- Oh! Yeah, so if, yeah, okay. I just died. You can also see the text that tells you how to survive as well. Damn, okay. Then we got the main menu, and then we got the start. Sorry. The main menu doesn't work, but restart does. It's pretty cool. So if I exit out the game and I go and see inside, this is everything that I used to make it. And then I did have another enemy called the spotter, but we won't worry about him. He's not good. And so if you're wondering, in my level design, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to 13 unique rooms. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13. It's kind of crazy and it took me a really long time. And you can also see I have achievements. I had the escape the smiler, die to the smiler, escape the spotter, and die to the spotter. So escape means you just survived them for the first time. That's kind of the entire game. I did have, I did have like every single decoration I used in here. We can see that. I just drop all the way down here so I can like copy and paste it into the level design. And yeah, I also made this skull I'm pretty proud of. But anyway, we could probably head on to the next game. Well, actually, and if you're wondering how like 3D game works, how I can like move around, basically my player is not moving the everything else is moving with it so as you can see like my character's always thing is zero zero but i'm moving the entire background just a little thing i wanted to add and i had this really failed type of screen shake i wanted to do so i thought screen shake was gonna be cool but it doesn't really work that well anyway next game this isn't my original account i made this like three months ago so i have this other one that i made but i didn't publish it's called hard speed run game you'll see why in a second if i full screen play we can see that i'm this little player here it actually looks really cool but if i just go forward i die and i have to click the green flag to restart every time which is annoying but it is what it is so if i do this i jump over it oh, i didn't even jump over it okay if i go back and i jump over it and land here i die if i go up here, like here i die if i go up here i die it's supposed to be the like kind of a rage game i got my friend to play it once and it was pretty funny so i have to jump down here I'm like oh yeah i made it no you didn't so i have to go back here up here perfectly time that and i died okay do it again up here boom boom go no boom boom okay boom boom then you can get down here a secret little passage is kind of kind of stupid but then also you have to jump over there because there's another one so down here you have to jump down here secret little room and go up here because there's a thing down there of course and uh, let me just redo all this and yes yeah, so i'm back here and if i can make it up here there we go i don't i was about to say i don't think there's any more but apparently there is and that's kind of the entire thing of the game it's pretty polished but there's really not a lot of gameplay to it so next game next one's called click it full screen click we have a start this was gonna be a video but i just decided i didn't have any motivation to do it so if i go boom boom i basically just have to click these guys and it goes on for forever it's actually pretty cool i really love like the spinning that i made it's really satisfying boom boom except i really disliked it because it has to go over crosshair or else it doesn't really work that much and i really hate that but you know it's what it is there's probably a way i could have fixed it but i just didn't know how anyway i really like the smooth spin that i made i'm actually really proud of how i made it it's with variables and stuff uh, i don't know i really forget but i don't really want to go into the code oh god and there's no way to die it's really just you do this for forever and yeah we have the infinite background and yeah kind of the entire game the 
next one. This next one's a bit of a shorter one, but it's called it's what I was gonna try and make an app. So it's full screen, and this is the only content that we have in the entire game. I drew up everything in a sprite, and we can see we have a TV, an animated fin, and that little poster thing. And if I click E, we can see that we have like the entire I guess it's supposed to be the pizza place, like every spot where Freddy and them could be. But if I click E again, you know, it just fades and comes back. It's really a shame that I didn't really finish this because it would have just taken a long time to draw everything, so I didn't really feel like it. Next game. Oh, and by the way, I have a Discord, so if you want to come join and hang out with us, link in the description. Sorry this video was so short. I really just wanted to upload something because I do not want it to look like I'm dead. So yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you go to my stuff and I go into the Slimer version 0.1, we can see that it actually kind of blew up. You guys really did an amazing job. I just want to thank you guys for that. I didn't expect it to be this big. It really wasn't supposed to be this big. It was supposed to be like a little thing that you guys could just play. Because I did I wasn't even supposed to post this at first. I didn't have it. And I was like, oh, it's kind of bad, so I won't do it. It was coded kind of poorly, but whatever. Thank you guys so much. Join the Discord. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you later. Peace.